Hello, I'm Bill Donnelly from Sapphire Technology. Today I want to talk to you about a Sapphire original piece of software designed for digital signage applications. Sapphire is well known for its graphics solutions. We sell a whole range of graphics cards capable of displaying not just one or two monitors, but right up to multi-monitor solutions. What we have today is a professional graphics card with six display ports connected directly to the six monitors behind me. So with a configuration like this, we can run what's called AMD Ifinity. Ifinity allows us to treat a multi-monitor array as though it was a single logical surface. In other words, just like one big monitor. So what Powercast X allows us to do is to choose a variety of information types to display anywhere we like within that logical surface. So we can display videos, tickers, live web feeds, stills, we can scroll information, so we can build up a very interesting pattern of images like the one behind me. What I want to do today is to show you how easy it is to use Powercast X to carve up a single display space into a number of different zones into which we can import different kinds of content for display. So as you can see, for this demo, we've set up a Twitter feed, we've got three videos open at the top here, we've got a live feed from the web for our YouTube page, and two other videos running here as well as an information screen directly from the web. Okay, so I'm gonna stop our demo running, and you can see within this frame here how we had it divided up before. There's the three videos at the top, web feeds down here, and so on. I'll stop that one playing, and I'm going to delete that so that we can go back and set up a new version. So if we go across here, we can see that we have the capability to divide up our single logical surface into however many frames we want. So in this case, we've chosen a 9x6 array corresponding to the shape of our 6-monitor display. So we move on, and we can see this is the display areas we've chosen. So now we want to put some content in there. So if we go up to the media button here, this is our repository of files of videos, stills, and other things we might want to put up there. It's very easy to put content in. We can simply drag and drop it from another Windows directory, um, or we can load them in. For web pages, there's a button here which simply allows us to add a new web URL. And if we want to make a ticker file, we have to have dropped a text file into this box. So once we've got all our content there, it's very easy to actually put it into our display areas. So if I choose the first nine cells here, which corresponds to the first monitor in our display area, it's very simple for me to select a video from our pack, tick the box, I just have to agree whether I want sound or not, and there we have it. So if I play it now, you'll see that it's already ready to play in that module. To add additional content, all I have to do is just carry on the same process for the rest of our display area. So as you can see, whether you're working with a single monitor or a multi-monitor array like this, it's very easy to configure your content however you want. This makes Powercast X really suitable for a whole range of applications, from simple point of sale where you might have only one or two monitors, right up to video walls like this. My name is Bill Donnelly from Sapphire Technology. Thank you for watching.